In the United States, people love to eat good food, but in the case of this eater the situation is more complicated. Meet the French record holder for eating tarari. It's a folkloric legend in its own country. According to the memoirs of his contemporaries at that time, they tried to recur everything and anything on paper for posterity. Tarare's problem was that he did not feel satiated at all. Food passed through him almost in transit, so he was able to absorb food in and change quantities. By and large, the unfortunate man was only satiated when he directly consumed the food and for a couple dozen minutes after a long meal. Then his incredible metabolism and distended stomach, coupled with a number of obvious mental disorders, drove him back to the table, forcing him to eat everything he could get his hands on, whether Tarari wanted it or not, but the fame of his gluttony literally swept across France and even broke out of its borders. From different parts of the country came commoners and nobles to see the hero with their own eyes, with the glutton made baits, he was fed to the slaughter to see the limits of human gastrointestinal tract. This is why the unfortunate man unwittingly became famous and even became one of the main characters of local folklore. Tarari was not the real name of a man whose race on detri in life was only to devour food. The nickname was derived from the French winged expression bomb bomb tarari, which was commonly used to describe the most powerful volleys of guns. If you don't already have an association with why the Frenchman got such a nickname, let me explain further. The fact is that Tarare's stomach, though it could withstand the overload, but together with the intestines produced such a colossal amount of gas that the poor man, wherever he appear, everywhere and everywhere announced the surroundings incessant murmur of the main caliber. It is known that the irrepressible glutton was born in the city of Lyon in 1772 and at first little different from his peers. However, already at the age of 17, rumors of a young man who can at one sitting eat up to a quarter of a calf spread around the area and caused known skepticism among people who saw the young man from afar. The fact is that despite his appetite, thanks to his teenage metabolism, Tarari himself weighed only 50 pounds and did not at all resemble a man who could digest up to one quarter of a small steer. For an ordinary French family, the child was a real disorder. Roughly speaking, mom and dad were simply not able to provide for their son's growing appetite and even went into debt to somehow satiate this biomachine to absorb food. Since in addition to Tarari himself, the family had brothers and sisters, at some point the closest relatives were forced to make a very difficult decision, to kick the young man away so that other normal children would not suffer from malnutrition. From then on, Tarari went wherever he went, constantly begging and trying to earn money through a carnival lifestyle. His appetite has become his trump card and his public appearances are based on demonstrating his stomach's abilities. Of course, food was very, very scarce, and it was not always possible to show anything to the ungrateful public. The weather long or short, however, Tarari arrived in Paris as part of a very bad company, the basis of which, artists, women of easy behavior and fair pickpockets. At that time, the main role of the gradually growing in the sides of the man was to swallow everything that can be to warm up the audience, and indeed could digest a huge list of products, from live rodents to a barrel of apples. Roughly speaking, absorbed and chewed what even remotely was food, in connection with the wishes of the audience. Contemporaries recall horrible scenes during which the artist could eat living creatures with skin and cartilage, leaving only one skeleton after the meal. Naturally, I will not describe the process in detail, so as not to get a remark from the platform, but believe me, there are many descriptions, and as they say, one is more picturesque than the other. By the way, contemporaries claimed that Tarari had a rather pleasant appearance. However, the body of the artist is not only quite massive fat deposits, but also a very distended belly, which half-empty bag hung in front of the unfortunate. And there was so much extra tissue in this area that he could quote wrap himself around the waist once again. It is not known where the artist's creative path would have led, if the revolution had not erupted in France itself, since the warring parties attracted to their ranks literally everyone, Tarari himself was able to join the regular army, but not in combat position, and the position of fetch pay, for which he was paid exclusively by food. At some point, the troubled soldier was noticed by the medical staff, and this to some extent helped yesterday's artist. The eternally hungry Frenchman was placed in a hospital to study his phenomenon of irrepressible appetite, and, in the course of experiments, 
The doctors of the time were clearly convinced that without any food Tarari quickly enough weakens, withers and burns out his own fat deposits. Such a strange infantryman was reported to the famous general, Alexander de Beauharnais, and Beauharnais, having listened with surprise to all the misadventures of Tarari, decided to make him a real spy, as the warrior easily enough swallowed an experimental box with a message inside and naturally brought it back with full preservation of the inscribed. Thanks to this ability, under the guise of a Prussian peasant, Tarari was, as they now say, thrown into the rear of the enemy with the task of passing a secret message to the French, lurking in Prussian captivity. He did not make it. The people around him were constantly paying attention to a strange man who exuded an unpleasant odor. And about this odor, albeit after the death of the unfortunate, was a whole note in the Medical Journal of 1819, where it was said that the body of Tarari was constantly covered with water, with which the body tried to remove all the slag and poor quality products absorbed by the man. The Frenchman was identified and exercised, and of course, they wanted to hang the assassin, but Tarari so tearfully begged the Prussians to spare him that he was once again well flogged and sent to all for sides. After such a significant failure, Tarare's career as a spy was immediately terminated. On his return to his native country, Tarare was once again hospitalized, hoping to manage his condition. But it seems that the treatment only aggravated his situation, from which the hospital began to do terrible things, including attempts at cannibalism. The French devourer passed away at the age of 26 in 1798 due to a number of lifestyle complications. The autopsy of this enigmatic man also failed to reveal any abnormalities in the internal structure of the organs. Therefore, for the doctors of the time, such a strange eating disorder of Tarari remained a mystery. However, as well as for doctors of the present day, who could only investigate the phenomenon based on the records of their colleagues from the past.